Good morning, YouTube world. We found this adorable place in Wallaca, Georgetown area. And I just wanted to show you how absolutely beautiful it is here. The landscaping. Oh, I love it. And these oak trees, the moss. <clears throat> we are going to put out our traps today. We're going to go to the springs and shrimp. So I am loading up the boat. Ian will be out in a minute. We got Bianca. We have a great day. Beautiful morning. What do you want? One of them bags of ice out of that back cooler. Yep. Look at that doggo. Look at that doggo. Well, that dog would be so much fun. <laughs> All right. B? Yeah. You ready to go to the springs? Yeah, I'm ready to go to the springs. Drop the crab traps. Yeah. What else? Catch some shrimp. Maybe catch some stripers. Some specks. Some catfish. I gotta go. So, Make these are just all famous these are catfish stew. spider webs in the back of your truck? I did. I was like, what? It's not a good place to live if you don't like bugs. Yeah. I hate bugs, but it's not that bad. Bugs. We're gonna dump these three traps. Now, we wanna show you how to catch crabs with the ring nets, nets, I should say. But uh, we're gonna use these, these traps to uh, supplement our blue crab catch just in case the ring nets don't work well off the dock. Hey Bianca, what? what kind of bait are we using? Pogi. And what's wrong with them? Nothing's wrong with Pogi. What'd you just say about them? Oh, they stink. They're stinky. <laughs> Good. What guy? Hold on, it's eight and a half. I don't want to get up all in these other guys' traps though either. It's 10 right here. 10? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and drop that one. Marked it. Let's put, put them, let's try to get them about 100 yards apart. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Alright, so we just dropped three traps. Let's see what we do tomorrow morning. What's up guys? So we did drop three wire traps in the river while we were out in the rental for the weekend. And that was kind of insurance in case we didn't really get on anything else, we'd have something to eat. But as you've probably already seen, we got a limit of shrimp. And we were able to get a bunch of crabs at the springs. But uh, I'm going to video pulling these three, three traps real quick. And I think when I get home, I'm going to try cooking them a different style. I'm going to try the Maryland style. Uh, fishing ve vessel Paula sent me some JOs straight from Maryland. So we're going to try that out. And you guys are going to ride along. Pulling up on the first trap now. Something like this to grab the buoy makes it really easy. I bet we got five of them. I'm gonna bet seven. 
Goose, what's your bet? Um, I said seven. Five, said seven. Five. I say six. Why not? Right down the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Uh. I wonder if I should play the lottery. Are you? What? Why are you jumping on me? That's the bait. That was the bait. Oh, we don't want like, the stinky bait on really? the um, what do we got in cookies in? Um, Zach Live Well. Live Well. Can we turn it on? Or you want to put them right into the cooler, ice them down, and um, get them nice and cold for when we get home? Let me just empty them into that back Live Well. Trap number two. Four. How many are in there? Four. Five. Dang. Five. What? Five. Are you sure? One, yeah. two, three, four. I only five. see four. No. You don't one, see the one two, in the bottom. Three, four, five. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Who's closer? You. No, you are. Right, I'll play the lottery. No, time. you are because it goes four, five. Seven. I'm gonna say there are six in this one. Going with a dozen. A dozen again? Again? Bigger go home. Oh my god. I suppose. Oh. <laughs> it's the rebar. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Well, I was closest, I think. Yeah, you are. That's a, a big, big one. one. Both those ones are huge right there. Look how big that guy is. I mean, that's a big one. Oh, look ground. at that guy. Look at how blue the sky is. Ow, I hit my head on the bimini. <laughs> so this part of the river seems to have bigger crabs, maybe, than where I crabbed last week. For sure. But not as many numbers. Shake these bad boys out. Their claws are so blue. Oh, hi, Bob. Okay, I can help. I can help you, Will. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Look Come how on. orange, I guess it's rusty. Come Is on. that what they call it? Yeah. Go on the bottoms. When they're brown on the bottoms, don't get much of it. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Cool. Let it go. That's Come on. That's a bait crab. Come on, pull the trap. Okay, well. Yeah, look, how, look at the orange on the bottom of that one. Is that what they call rusty? Yeah. Wait, oh, rusty. Man, we're lucky the blue crabs don't get any bigger because they are some mean, mean animals. Imagine if one of those things got the size of a dog. <laughs> so, we're back at the house. Uh, it's only like an hour out to the river where we catch the crabs. But I've been wanting to try doing steam crabs the Maryland way. You guys all know how I like to do them. I consider that the Florida way. It's the only way I've ever really eaten them or seen anybody here eat them. But Captain CJ on fishing vessel Paula sent me some JOs all the way from Maryland and uh, wanted me to try it. I have in this pot 50% vinegar, 50% water, and get a shot in there. One of those vegetable steamer dealy things, mm -hmm. which is I use the vegetable steamer thing anyways, but we're gonna do it the Maryland way. So we've got our crabs from our three traps and there's some monsters in there. 
These were iced a little bit, but now they've woken back up, so they're oh. very angry. And we're gonna try to get them into the pot. So you go one layer. <laughs> Come on, man. This thing is going crazy. Oh, oh, crab in the kitchen. <laughs> he just keeps holding on. <laughs> okay. Into so. the jacuzzi. Into the jacuzzi, man. Guess, You'll like it. I guess it's more like a sauna because yeah. they're not boiling. So anyway, <laughs> they're big crabs that we got here. They just don't want to stay. In there. <laughs> Oh, they're mad. Get in there. All right, I'm gonna call that a layer. And then the way they do it, how I've seen them do it on YouTube is very heavily seasoned with the J.O.'s. Move that guy a little bit. I wanna get some more of him. And we'll just, com we'll just keep repeating these layers until I have all the crabs in there and steam them about 15 minutes. I don't think I want to stand right there. Yeah, it's danger zone. <laughs> Moral of the story is, you should ice your crabs before you put them into the pot, because then they won't try to run away. Nope, two at a time. Holding well, hands. You and your buddy. You and your buddy <laughs> go in there. Well, we got another bogo. <laughs> Ooh, if I get through this without getting bit, it's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Liberal J.O.'s. <laughs> Simmer down. Simmer down. Get in that pot. It's a, a little more eventful this way. <laughs> well, I, I will say that they do actually um, ice their crabs first. I just... Ah! Oh, oh. Hey, man, tell me when it's getting out. <laughs> We got crabs loose in the house. That one, you stay in there. Get in there. Put the lid on. Just on. <laughs> Maybe we. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I would like to point out it smells very vinegary in the house right now. It does. It seems like a lot of vinegar. <laughs> and, uh,. I don't know, I don't usually put, I do stay in there. Get in there. Oh man. I'm glad I didn't try to video this by myself. All right, lots of J.O. These guys are gonna be the first round. 15 minutes in the steaming pot. Been about 15 minutes. Our crabs have definitely uh, simmered down. They're not quite as angry as they were a minute ago. Start pulling them out. And they smell good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Um, we probably won't eat these tonight. Um, one thing I've learned with blue crabs is I almost like them better um, the next day after they cool down and like I like them cold. Uh, how big this one is. <laughs> and this is from three traps, y'all. You know, so if you're wondering about wanting a crab on your own, you can definitely go out, get a couple of traps. I know traps are getting expensive with wire shortages and things like that, but uh, at 20, that's not even all our crabs. Three traps, 24 hours, you know, but uh, here we go again. We're gonna do one more round. And I imagine you guys enjoyed that first round. So these ones are a little bit smaller, but in Florida, we do not have size regulation. We can keep males and females. Um, cool. <laughs> You know, usually we, we, the only time we keep the smaller ones is for bait. There was a couple smaller ones in this one today and we were coming home and I figured what the hell, they just are gonna go in the pot. 
liberal JOs. I know I said that three or four times now, but I'm trying to make Cap CJ proud. Do it the right way. Oh. in the bunch. <laughs> get in there. And do you guys like J.O.'s? These uh, St. John's River Crabs don't get to see much J.O. Wow. 15 yeah. minutes. Uh, next time you see us, we're going to be eating these bad boys and doing a review on how we normally do it, where we pop the backs off and clean them, versus these. I'm gonna try eating some of the mustard. Uh, so we'll see you guys then. I just woke up from a nap. Well, good time to do <laughs> a J.O.'s crab review. Okay, so it is really good seasoning. I like it a lot. I actually prefer it, I think, to Old Bay. It's actually really good. But I don't know that I taste a difference in the crab. Does that make sense? Yeah, well you gotta lick your fingers. I did, but okay. I'm talking about like the in the guts and the mustard and whatever. Did you eat to be did you eat the mustard? I'm like the one kind of Well, we're gonna cut and you're gonna well, eat like, the mustard in the next one. No, I don't think so. Like <laughs> I'm not eating that. It doesn't look good. I'll eat some in a second. You can eat it. But like it was like already touching one of like the meat, yeah. and I was like, I'll just eat it. It was okay, but like, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of how I feel about it. The seasoning is a guess, as far as the guts go. Let's go one out of ten. For the seasoning. Just over a ten. ten out of ten for seasoning. Yeah. Crab flavor, same. Same. Mustard. I'm not eating it. I don't know. I like kind of ate it. I don't know. Um. All right, we'll do my review next. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do my Maryland <laughs> style blue crabs. Uh, you guys seen me cook them? If I did it wrong, let me know. But I think I uh, I think I did it right. It's a nice one here. Uh, I should definitely have some newspaper or something, but. This is what we're eating for dinner, and I don't know if we're gonna eat them all. Here, I need to. That's fine. There we okay. go. Okay. Pop the apron. <clears throat> Pop the back. Ugh. Now. <laughs> yeah. Zoom in here. This is the mustard uh -huh. that everybody raves about. I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't know about that. That stuff, I guess. Pull his face off here. The dead men. All right. I'm gonna try the mustard. This stuff. Oof. Was yeah. it? Was it taste like? Um. Dead man. First <laughs> off, the Jo has good flavor on my fingers. I like it. Uh, yeah. Agree. The mustard isn't bad. It has a crabby flavor. Um, also, it's just like whatever. I got it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad. I could probably take it or leave it. Um, I don't, you know, but uh. Pop them in half. I do. That's how I pick mine. Oh, I think they call it like the lollipop method. I'm not hundred percent sure. It's just the way I have developed over time. Pop that big old lump out of there. I'll dip it in some of that mustard. I heard the yellow mustard is the best. Mm. That's really good. Um, I think these are 
also just good crabs, but the J.O. is saltier. Mm -hmm. Definitely saltier and just different than Old Bay. Um, very good. I'd go eight and a half out of 10 on the seasoning. Uh, the mustard, I'd go six and a half out of 10. You know, like I'm not gonna not eat crabs cause it's there and I'll eat it. It's okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but the method's a little bit dirtier than how we do it when we clean the backs. Um, so that, I gotta take that in consideration. Like we could sit here easily and not make a mess the way I normally do it. This might be a little bit messier. Um, but if I had to do a lot of crabs, where I didn't want to clean them all out for other people, I'd probably do this again. And I'm definitely going to try the J.O.'s on our method, the way we pop the backs. Uh, but overall, very good. Um, so we're going to eat the rest of these crabs. This is the end of the video. And uh, please like, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, Hopefully you guys like these crab videos um, and all the videos and hopefully I get to keep making them for you. See you on the next one. We just got home from, where'd we go again? Was it Wahoo? I don't even know. I was raffling the Wahoo Shootout, Wahoo shootout and I am hungry and I requested that we cook the crabs so we were out today and we went to pull the stone crab traps and we did get some stone crabs oh, we're dead. they're in there we only got five claws though what we did get was a pile of big old blue crabs mm -hmm. so and we got some super rusty ones too, which is cool. We're so, that's gonna be our dinner. Yeah. Um, so, before I put them in this pot, we can go see, see us uh, doing some trap work, and I'll meet you guys back here. Every cent. Dandy. This is one of those jump boxes I got off Amazon for like 80 bucks. So that happens when you're gone for 28 days. The boat doesn't get used. Let's see here. Every freaking cent I spent on that thing. So how often do you charge this? <laughs> I think it said it was good for like five starts or something like that. Sweet. But shoot, as useful as it is, <coughs> even if I had to throw it away after five starts, it's worth 80 bucks. Because battery never goes dead in a convenient time or place. Super clear. Look at all those oysters. Mm -hmm. Show you guys a little trick. If you're gonna if you're gonna fish shallow water, and you want to shorten your line up, you can do something like this. Take it and take some slack out of it, and then just tie a knot there like that, so that. You don't have all that line drifting off for somebody to run over. Smart. And you just got a little bit shorter there. Fishing these ones shallow in some experimental places. We'll see. Water's so clear right now, you can see that trap down there. And we're only about four feet of water. 
we'll see what it does. recording too. <laughs> the deckhand does I not almost, have the best sea legs. <laughs> I was focusing on the knot because you never want to throw your line in with a big knot in it. Get yelled at by the captain. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be tangled. So I was focusing. I wasn't ready. Ta-da. Um, we probably drop that one anywhere right here, babe. Anywhere? Anywhere you want. I saved his life. They love those crab traps for some reason. Check him out. Maybe he'll make it back home. I saved his life. Pulling up to our first trap. This is a shallow one, slightly experimental. Ooh, there's stone crabs in it. I can see them from the top. You can see them how clear the water is right now, huh? Look at me. Oh yeah, it's always a good sign when you can literally see them from the water. Well, you could Here you see go. Them. <laughs> Got at least one here. Two. Blue crab. I was just saying. Two. Oh, she said. We got a big old blue crab. Two blue crabs. That's a huge blue crab right one, there. Two, one, two, two three, four, um, five. But I don't think a single one of those uh, stone claws. crabs has claws on it. Dang, that one's got one, but it looks too small. And, and a sheep's head. Where's the sheep's head? Down in the bottom. Oh, oh. Little baby sheep's head. Little sheep. That'd be good for a fish tank. No. <laughs> I'll eat those blue crabs though. Oh yeah, no, don't put undersized sheep's head in your fish tank. Yeah, don't do that. Um, or we could use them for a drum bait. We're definitely going to eat them things. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and empty them out on deck. Should I leave the bait that's in there? You might as well. Oh, yeah. it's already dirty. Doesn't matter. It's a bloody, messy game, guys. Yeah, We're not going to lie to you. But. Yeah, I don't think any of them have claws. That's annoying. I'm going to go let them loose slightly different place. I bet some of them are growing claws back though. That one might have a keeper. Shake that, that sheep's head out. Turn the trap all the way upside oh, down. All the way upside down. This way? Yeah, there you go. And then out. Sweet. Sweet. That's super cool. We'll let him go to go grow up. And that's a ginormous blue crab. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, these would all be big stone crabs, but their claws have been harvested. And for all those people that's, that like say stone crabs completely die when you take both claws, there's one, two, three, three four, and, that one's and this one's just got one. Probably not. That'd be five uh, stone crabs out here living their best life with no claws. <laughs> So, it's not as big a deal as you think it is, guys, but to each their own. We're going to go ahead and get these back in the water. That monster blue crab, <laughs> that one's probably seven inches across his back. And generally, I'd tell you, you would catch blue crabs right now. They'd all be buried up in the mud. I'm just kind of surprised. Number two. Four stones. stones. Nice. So. 
we'll get the Goliath grouper back first. I'm gonna show you guys that. Absolutely. They're super cool. The uh, super endangered, almost <laughs> never seen. I think the only thing more endangered than those things are red snappers. This one without any claws. Let's see it. There he is. And how you tell folks is a Goliath grouper has a rounded tail. Oh yeah, okay. But uh, a really pretty fish. That thing's gonna grow up to be the size of a Volkswagen. Go live on some wreck and stuff and eat all eat your- Eat everything. Eat all the red snapper you catch. Yeah. Um, What's the other one? Mother-in-law. Um, That'll go back for bait. And we got two. three stones. Just measure them. Real oh, quick. It. That's gonna be one good claw. So we'll measure these, pulling up to number three. So far we had a trap loaded with stone crabs that didn't have claws. Second trap might have a couple of, had stone crabs but small ones. Put the power pole down. See what we got in here. This is the deep one. This has been a really good trap uh, in years past. We haven't we haven't fished this spot all season. We've been fishing in a different part of the river. We got Cheeps. some good sheep's head. <laughs> Four of them. And one stone crab with no claws. No, there's Look one, two, three, is, four, five sheep's head in this That's trap. That's crazy. I have the fish back here. Yeah. We'll go gig back here, babe. Yeah. Well, they've been gigging we'll a ton of gig. a ton of sheep's head. Uh, maybe we'll go out tonight. Go ahead and dump them up. Dump them out of there, babe. Was it only one stone crab? Hopefully, our other spots are loaded because <laughs> right now we're not doing so great. You got to turn it all the way upside down to get them ones to go down. He's an eater. Come on, dude. Can you keep them? Um, I'd have to check the regulations. Okay. Good answer. Gotta jiggle them around. You, you wanna there switch? You there Woo! you go. No, I can do it. She can do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna need All right. a shower. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five uh sheep's head and look at this another one another of these one. one of them stone crabs people say uh can't survive without claws yeah funny how that works yeah. all right what is this trap four still on uh my yellow blue crab style traps Got see at least one couple of blue crabs. crabs dang big blue crabs nice maybe they could tell that that was a blue crab style trap and they were they like, wanted to prove me wrong this is my house that's a that is not a blue crab babe that's a big stone crab with no claws again there's a blue crab right there i know but there's oh. a stone crab right there oh oh there's another one go ahead and empty them out okay let's put her back Female blue crab there. Ah, she's trying to get me. You can tell she's a female because she's got the red on the tip of her uh, pincers. And she's feisty. They call that the lipstick. And then that's a male there. And this is another one of those <laughs> stone crabs that die when you take both of their claws <laughs> and, and don't live at all. But uh, we'll let that one go. Bye. This is kind of turning into a blue crab. blue crab video. We're not doing that great. You see it? We just found something extremely cool. Hope Look you guys can that. see. I believe that to be a little baby lobster. Like, We're gonna get it back in the water pretty quick. How crazy is that? That'd be cool. Okay. I went on a field trip 
I went on a field trip with Bianca to the Whitney lab and uh, I don't know who had more fun, me or the kids, <laughs> but they had us looking at all kinds of stuff through a microscope. Um, that's insane. That's definitely a little baby lobster, the future of our fisheries. And I, I know I've talked about it before, but these oyster reefs uh, are in, I uh, can't see that. Sure can. An estuary for all these little baby things that we like to catch and eat and uh, admire and look at, uh, so they're important. But we're gonna set this trap back. More <laughs> monster blue crabs. Ooh, and they're rusty. Holy yeah. cow. Look how rusty those are. They're gonna be good. Full of meat. I was just saying how I really wanted blue crabs too. It's like the universe knew. I'm stoked on that right there. I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you call a rusty crab right there um he's been living with this shell for a very long time and they the way crabs grow is they grow into their shell and then they molt it off and then they grow into that one um but when they're this color here it means that they're very full of meat and we got one two three four five six seven eight big old rusty crabs out of that one trap Ooh, that's gonna so, be so good. it's turning into a blue crab video see now somebody's been in that one 100 percent. because i put my i put i do a little thing and i put my stuff a certain way and somebody's been up in my trap is this the same place too that we found our missing trap and that was over there but, same creek though. Yeah, we found one of our traps from last year that somebody had just taken and was fishing again on their own. Let's not put this one back here. All right. Right? It's a good spot. It's shitty. People suck. I don't know what is wrong with people. Fish your own trap. This was arguably oh no! the, the best spot Dang, last year. Caught? Dang, we caught a fishing <laughs> rod and reel. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. Hold on, it's all tangled. How? I don't know. You there's a fish still on it? How? I don't know. Someone obviously. That is crazy. It. Hold on. It hasn't been down there long. Uh. Yeah. Any? I can see crabs in there. Hold on. Help me. I need help. Uh, again, one monster blue crab and a stone we're gonna have to that braided line is all tangled in there yeah, we're gonna have to do that to... now see i can tell nobody's been in this trap yeah. i just wanted to make sure i didn't grab it let me uh i'm gonna cut this off and we're gonna get our lucky fishing rod untangled <laughs> here all right guys so I, I just had a funny idea who thinks i should take try and take this rod and reel that was just tangled <laughs> in our crab trap and go try to catch some fish with it. Make a whole video of it, see if it's lucky. Drop a comment if you think I should do that because I might just do it for the YouTube. It's a, it's a Shimano quick here. fire with a, what is that? A gander reel. Okay. But, what else? dang, <laughs> somebody had a bad day. I think it's gonna be a lawn ornament. Yeah, then. definitely outside somewhere treasure ah, super <laughs> rusty blue crab that thing's almost orange and two, two decent stone crabs nada. and that was not a nobody messed with it either nah. maybe we'll uh move that one farther out it was hard to get back here yeah. but it was an experimental deal but let me show you guys this we've got i don't know about four or five stone crab claws, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 big old blue crabs. And there's some big ones in there, jumbos, and they're rusty. So at least we're gonna have dinner. All right, we're headed back in. So we only ended up with five 
stone crab claws out of nine traps and uh, they aren't the biggest ones either. But we do have over a dozen big old rusty blue crabs, which I'm excited about. Um, but Crystal was just saying how she is super stoked to clean the boat. It is not what I said. Uh, it is trash. I got you a boat brush for Christmas. Yeah, that's for like you to use. Well, I got you a vacuum a few years ago. I've never seen you use it. <laughs> it's a dirty business, y'all. So just keep that in mind. I think eventually we're gonna try to get a big old Carolina skiff that we could just hose out a lot yeah. easier than this thing. But uh, we see you back at the house here. back just like that so it's almost eight o'clock at night it's completely normal to be cooking blue crabs <laughs> um i'm gonna do it maryland style yeah. honestly because i don't feel like cleaning these things out we got jo's um courtesy of fishing miss. fishing vessel miss paula sent me that a while back super cool dude super cool channel check it out um, but he wanted to make sure I was doing things right uh -huh. and he sent me the right seasoning. So we're going to start and layer our crabs into the steaming pot. Now I have a good bit of vinegar in this water. Yeah, you, do. you can smell it. Look how rusty that crab is going in there. These are going to be super good. So get in there. <laughs> There's a layer. I hope they all fit. And you want to be liberal, liberal with it. Not like Biden liberal, but like a lot. <laughs> um, and then keep going. Might have to do, get in there, two batches. Look how big that Whoa, one is. He's huge. Now, you guys saw a video of me where these things almost killed me. <laughs> um, but this time I've had these on ice for a couple of hours while we were at the tournament captain's meeting. But I'm super hungry. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. I lost ready. my camera woman. <laughs> She's ready. steaming good. I still Marlin. got a minute on the clock, but I think these things are done. I'm going to start pulling them out. She can have one of them live ones. Mm. Looked done to me. It smells pretty good. So. That was a big one. They're heavy, huh? Yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. Marlin. A little bit. What do you think? She says that smells good. You can go ahead and steam them. You don't have to eat them right then. You can put them in your fridge for a couple days. The wind chime. And oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, ah. That's thumbnail material right there. Hold on. They're starting to come alive. Well, that's because they're warming up. <laughs> Get in there, buddy. That's a huge one. He's almost as wide as the pot. Um, the cool. In the jacuzzi. But what I was saying is, <laughs> they uh. You can um, cook them, cook them, and then you don't gotta eat them right then. I almost prefer them a day or two later. I agree. After they've cooled all the way off. Try not to get pinched on camera, even though you guys love that. It'll probably happen someday, as much as we do crabbing videos, but not today. Deliciousness. Tim more minutes. They're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Alright guys, so Crystal's got a head start on me. Yeah. Uh, we're just sitting down to eat here. Super excited. We've got stone crab. We've got some nice blue crabs. That's so um, good. It makes you wonder, you know, what the rich people are doing. 
<laughs> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, it took a turn for us. I, I really thought we were gonna catch stone crabs. Uh, those are all my stone crab spots. I thought that the blue crabs surely would be buried in the mud this time of year with the cold water, but uh, they weren't. Uh, well, we did catch a lot of stone crabs. Mm -hmm. If all the stone crabs we caught had already been caught once and didn't have claws on them. Yeah. So, you know, if they had all been clawed up, we'd have done really well. True. So, you know, season's been open for a while. Everybody's been fishing them. It is what it is. It'll pick back up when the water starts to warm up. Mm, there is nothing better than that, I'm telling you. Well, fresh Florida stone crab. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm making eating noises. Another, another thing is, we're out of paper towels right now. Oh, yeah. So we're about to eat these crabs without paper towels. But we got some kitchen rags. We're going to make do. Uh, put the paper towels on your Amazon wish list. Yeah. <laughs> I, need to, I actually need to start an Amazon store. Someone was telling me about that. Um, where I can put the stuff that I buy. And then you guys can go get it. And then I think Amazon will give me a little bit of money. Mm. But it's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope it's not too many crabbing videos. But I am just filming the stuff that we do regularly anyways. I think we're going to go fishing tomorrow. Yes. And uh, see what all we can get into. Uh, if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button. Um, get the notifications and uh, keep watching. Thank you, guys. What's up, guys? Look at that. Have you ever seen anything? Anything? quite that beautiful. These are char broiled blue crabs. And I'm gonna show you guys how we caught them out of crystal crystal clear, beautiful Florida spring water. Um, super amazing. We're over a hundred miles from the ocean here, but this spring holds just enough salt for the crabs to live in it. And they're said to be some of the sweetest crabs there are. Um, but it's mostly fresh water and it's beautiful. We were using dip nets and basically spot and stocking the crabs and had a blast. Uh, we'll also show you some really cool footage of down in the springs where they're living in those spring vents. Um, so you guys will see that now. Hope you enjoy.
All right, so we're catching crabs two different ways. One, spot and stock. I'm literally just standing up on the boat, looking in the clear water, wait until I see a crab, and then I ease into the water and go after them with the net. The other way we're doing it is spotting them in the deeper water and casting a shrimp out to them, then luring them close to the boat and catching them with the net that way too. Uh, but either way, we're doing pretty good for hanging out at the sandbar. Keeper line on the chain. You see it? No. He's going left. That way? Yep. Oh, missed it. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I don't know if it was the same one or a different one. I don't know. It's a girl. That was funny. <laughs> Where'd he go? I need that net faster. Here. I got the crab out of it. Two for two. That's a big one too. A big male. I got him. <laughs> Three? Just sitting around the boat? You see it, babe? I'm gonna see that one. Is that, is that the fourth one? Four, yeah. Just hanging out and looking. Yeah, I no nice. claws. Oh yeah, what happened with claws? They're heavy crabs too. All right, we took a piece of shrimp on the fishing pole and we're enticing one up. No, just get him. Got it. That's as far as I can reach out with that net. Oh! <laughs> and we got him. Makes the dream work. So now at this point, we're spotting them from the bow of the boat and luring them with shrimp. Look, you've got my shrimp. Now. We got two in front of the boat right now. See him? He's got a shrimpy stole. Crystal's pulling another one in. There's another one right there. We're on the, we're on them. <laughs> Got her. Ready? Yep. Like Oop. taking candy from a baby. We're on them now for sure. They're all over. Need another shrimp. So mad. That's a big one, babe. Come on, dude. Nope, nope. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be yummy. All right. So we're at seven crabs or eight crabs, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go back to our little fish camp on the river and I think we're gonna grill these up. Next time you guys see us, we'll be uh, at camp. He got a stick on his head. Watch him pop back up. Oh, he's got something in his mouth. He got a little dinner or something.
you guys have seen me clean crabs a couple times, but I just wanted to show you. Look how big these are. He's probably eight inches across his back, seven inches. That one's almost as big right there. So we need to make our charbroil sauce for the crabs. I'm gonna start with a stick of butter. We'll let that melt down. Somebody said the pan is too hot. I don't think it's hot enough. So uh, my butter's starting to melt. I'm gonna go in with four or five cloves of fresh garlic that I've minced up here. Goes in there. Then I got this really good Dixie Daddle orange sauce. Um, pretty sure it has like orange marmalade and our local Daddle pepper um, mix in there. We're gonna go in with just a little bit of this. The girls don't like it too spicy, so we're not gonna do a lot. Some Old Bay because Old Bay just goes good with crabs. Mm. And the juice of half a lemon and I'll just bring that all up to temperature and let the flavors kind of marry together gonna be good check out the view y'all our little rental here shout out to miss sandra this place is amazing and she's super nice we're in georgetown florida and it's got this little grill and we're gonna charbroil these oysters they're crabs we're crabs yeah <laughs> hopefully they can all fit on here uh, i don't know try to get them all on pretty quick I got it down on low right now, just so it don't get away from me. They're just so big, they barely fit. Just like this. There you go. Simma, simma. Perfect. Got one extra claw in there. All right, now we got that beautiful tasting sauce. See when you clean a crab, Ooh. They have like that little, that little, um, what do you call it, uh, crevice where their guts used to be. And we're going to take and put a spoonful of our charbroil sauce in each one. A bucket of water out here. Yeah. And fire. <laughs> Try to get it on the outside there too. Like that. Get it all covered up. Put more on this one. He needs more. I want to burn them too much here. And we're going to go ahead, close this off. That'll help with the flame ups. And like I said, I got it on like a low. Uh, I've never grilled crabs before. Um, so I don't want to overdo it. All right, so they're getting closer to being done. I'm gonna venture a flip real quick. Hopefully I don't regret it. They smell so good. Oh, I, I love my tongs from the house right now. <laughs> but when you're at a rental, you gotta work with what you got. I don't think I've ever eaten a grilled crack. I haven't either, I don't know. But I've seen it online recently. Yeah. And was like, man, that looks good. 
smells good. I'm gonna, I had it on low. I'm gonna put it back to medium for a minute. I think we're getting real close, folks. I'm gonna finish them. I got the other half of that lemon, and I'm just gonna squeeze that all over everything. Maybe help get it steaming in there. And I'm going to add that little bit of our basting sauce we have left here back to each one. I'll call these done in just a minute here, I think. Ooh, it's hot out here by the grill. But these bad boys are done. Pulling them little ones first. Yeah. Uh, look how big that thing is. This is as big as the darn grill. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. I'd say these crabs were on here a total of maybe 10 minutes. Might let these big boys go for just about 30 seconds longer. But uh, we will see you guys at the table in just a minute. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I am ready to eat. These things smell amazing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I already tested one, but look at that beautiful meat. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so that's the end of this one. You guys, please like and subscribe, comment, um, and we'll see you on the next one. Man, I cannot get over how good we did. This is probably 30, 20, 30 pounds of crabs. Nice ones in there too. I'm gonna put them in the live zone. Put them alive. Look at that. All I want to know is who's coming over for dinner. You don't want to stick your hand in there. So it occurs to me, I've never actually introduced myself to you guys. My name is Ian Sherman. I am Tug Trash Outdoors. Uh, most of you at this point probably know me from Instagram or TikTok or doing videos with Gabe and Kelly um, and all the people that have subscribed and liked and commented. Thank you guys so much. Um, I wanted to talk about where I got my name, Tug Trash Outdoors. I work on tugboats for a living. Uh, I've done that for about 15 years and I started as a deckhand and now I work as the first mate. Um, but let's go catch some crabs. We need to load up these traps back here and get them in the truck and we're going to go out to the St. John's River and drop them in the water. Crystal said she wants some crabs. We'll probably soak them two or three days. So we need bait and I have bait. I actually keep a dedicated bait freezer oh, yeah that's my piro i just got that thing looks like the storm knocked it over but i picked up a cheap chest freezer and i keep all of my fish scraps and if i go fishing and i got leftover pogies i save them keep random ice and stuff in there but if you crab a lot, I definitely recommend getting yourself one of these because it really helps when you decide you want to go catch some crabs. You already got some bait. It also helps uh, keep you from wasting fish, you know, throwing bait back and things like that. Uh, I've got it in my freezer. So we 
just got out to the river and we got some weather moving in. Let's check it out here. Got a boat coming in. I just wanted you guys to see just how gnarly the St. John's River can get when the wind picks up. I think we're gonna wait for the weather to pass or rethink where we're putting our traps out. And it is storming. I didn't hardly get back in the truck and that weather came across the river and it is getting down out there. So in the words of Captain Ron, they come on you fast and they leave you fast. Such as the way of Florida summertime afternoon storms. Still a little bit breezy out here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. We're gonna uh, waste no time getting these traps in the water. about 10 to 11 feet of water. It's an incoming tide, almost to high. So I'm confident in putting my traps in here because I have 15 foot lines. I've got this trap loaded up with some pogies and some mullet that I had in my bait freezer. Go ahead. Set our first trap. I like to hold on to the line. Make sure she hits bottom. We're gonna go ahead and dump these four more traps. Alright, we're pulling up on our first trap. What do you guys think? Is it going to be loaded? Oh, I hope. Oh, boy. Look at that big dog. Oh, man. Loaded down. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Let me eight. Get in there. Shoot, there's, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's a dozen crabs in this trap. And this is just the first one, boys and girls. <laughs> Stand by. 11 feet. We're on the mark? Yep. So, we're going ahead and rebaiting because we did so good on our first trap. 12 nice, pretty crabs. Let's see what the other four traps got to hold for us. Trap number two. First one at 12, what do you guys think in this one? You know, I had a gaff that makes it really easy to grab these traps. I didn't think we would need a gaff in the river. Uh, but for some reason, Crystal doesn't like it. <laughs> she never brings them. Like, hey, bring the gaff. Never. But usually, she pulls the traps and I drive as well. Oh boy. More? Oh man, we're loaded up. Oh yeah. And these crabs are huge. Get Look at that crab right there. He's probably eight inches across his back. That one's the same size. That one's the same size. Yeah, buddy. So what we do is before you shake the trap all over your boat, dump the old bait out like that. And close that. I shake them all down to the top. Like that. Man, I gotta <clears throat> try not to get my fingers pinched here. Yeah, please. And then shake them all down into my basket. And they're raining crabs. Come on, bub. Let's go. Okay. All right. We'll oh, re-bait. We've got some ladyfish from yesterday. Okay, trap three. I believe we're at 24 crabs right now. Come 
fun, baby. People don't want to look at my butt. <laughs> I'm trying. This one's kind of shallow. Not as good in the shallow. That's one, two, three, four, five, but still respectable. Even if we got five of trap, we'd definitely have a nice dinner. Empty my old bait out. Close that up. Shake my crabs down. And shake them into my basket. Want me to move this one out a little deeper? Yeah, we're gonna move this one out deeper for sure. Okay. How deep is it right now in there? This is eight feet. Yeah, let's go out. The others about, were about eleven. Yeah, let's do that. Number four here. We missed it the first time. We're gonna get it this time. <laughs> Left. I got it. <laughs> I think we're at 29 crabs, maybe 30. This thing feels heavy. We got. Ooh. These ones are a little smaller, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're averaging like twelve a trap right now. That is really good. Well, let me shake my... out your bait. Yeah, so if you don't shake your bait out, when you shake your crabs out, they uh the nasty little pieces of old bait get all over your boat. Which, everything's getting all over the boat anyways. <laughs> it is what it is. Man, we're killing it. And these are big crabs too. That's what uh, I really like. Throw some more bait. What we got? from a previous trip. He'll go in, squid, a couple of uh, Spanish mackerel carcasses. One more Spanish mackerel carcass. Put that up good. Be back on the spot, babe. Um, I'm moving us out just a hair. Well, I only got 15 foot lines. It's only 11 feet. You wanna drop it there? Yeah. All right, one more. All right, guys. Trap number five. I've almost lost this count on what we had. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. Wait. I'll be back with this trap. <laughs> no, you missed it. No, I gotta back up and do it again. You let the current get you. I think it's the wind with the bimini. It makes the, it hard. The current's going this way and the wind is going this way, which makes it kind of tricky. The bimini. But you're doing for a sure. good job, babe. Thanks. Try it. Right there. <laughs> Last one. Wish we had that gap. And it's almost like they make these long things with hooks on the end. Alright, pull down. Got it. Okay. What's he got, mullet? Oh man, this one looks loaded. Oh yeah, it does. Loaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's a couple really big ones in there. There's a lot of bait still left in this one. This is a three night soak. Empty that bait out. Bob, that's a dangerous place to be. <laughs> oh, please. 
Look at that guys. That's a good basket. That's almost a full bushel of crabs in five traps. And there's some nice rusty ones in here. Some of them are pretty white. That is a rusty guy down in there. And some of these things are really nice size too. Uh, there's ones way bigger than this in here, but I value my hands. So I'm not gonna dig in there. We're gonna put these in the live well and go catch some shrimp. I'm headed up to my hunt camp in South Carolina and uh, I'm gonna bring some fresh shrimp up for those guys, do a little cookout up there. Um, but the next time you see us, we'll be at the house cooking these crabs. Hopefully some friends hanging out and eating them. We're back home now. Uh, I went ahead and iced these crabs down really well. They are still alive. You can see his little mouth moving there, but they are asleep. This is a nice big male how pretty that crab is uh, but they are sleeping from the ice I clean mine before I cook them um, I know a lot of people don't like it and they like the mustard and everything I don't really prefer it so it's just how I do it and I'm gonna show you guys my method check this out you can see where this crab is regrowing an appendage. He lost one of his claws and they have the ability to regrow. That's pretty cool. We'll go over how I clean them. I've got my basket of crabs. I've got my gut bucket. These crabs have been iced so they're asleep, completely humane. Look how big that one is. He's probably seven inches. Come in, get him like that, pop his back off. That goes in the gut bucket. Take the gills here, pop them bad boys off. And then you got his face. Let's pull out, pull out. And get your hose, it's over on the ground here. And squirt them out. That cleans them all the way out. Now you can steam them or grill them. We got about 50 to do here. So see you up in the kitchen. We got some friends coming over for dinner. That is pot full of crabs. <laughs> all right guys, that's not even all the crabs right there. But uh, we're gonna sit down and eat. We got some friends over. It's my friend Fletcher. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> See you on the next one. So, just typical Florida weather. It's sunny right there. It's stormy right there. And it's raining where you are. Oh, there's a gator over there. That's a little guy. A little like six foot gator. But I don't know why. Why is it still raining? I want it to stop raining. <laughs> I want I want this weather right here. Right where I'm standing. We've been riding around trying to put these stupid traps in the water. Never fails. If I try to go do something, the weather will be bad. I'm scared. You're scared. I'm definitely scared. I'm scared that I'll get struck by lightning. There was an alligator out there. Okay, new plan. The plan is we're gonna bait up the traps here at the ramp. What do you, what'd you get? Sardines, frozen sardines. Delicious. <laughs> Cause I'm filming you. I'm filming you. Why don't you just pay attention to driving? <laughs> you don't think I could drive and film at the same time? I don't. I know. All right. 
You ready, B? The gator All right. Well, it wasn't our first <laughs> spot, the spot that we wanted to go to, but it's still raining over there. It's kind of clearing up over here. Let's drop these traps. If you're going to be the captain, you got to do cap stuff. <clears throat> sponsored, but not sponsored by Just Tile It. Yeah. This Hit them up. This video is brought to you by Just Tile It, Brevard County. Hit him up, no job, too big or too small. It's also Crystal's dad. Keep going. I don't want to have them so close together. Like we've probably got those two too close together. And let's, you know, like let's not have any major landmarks in the background so people can't figure out where we're at. Got it. <laughs> I didn't even ask how deep it was. How deep is it? 12 feet. Sweet. My mom said just be myself. Like it. Um, corgi bells? Yes. Corgi bells on the boat for dinner? On the boat? Uh. I thought that's what you were talking about. Oh. <laughs> I felt something. Like a crab trap? Maybe. There's one, Ooh. two, three. three. There's at least, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in that trap. There's still a lot of good bait, too. Yeah. We can leave them out. I don't know. What should we do? Leave them out over the weekend. It's Friday. Oh, boy. Them are nice sized crabs, too. They're all about five inches. That's pretty good, uh, pretty good first trap right there. We're gonna have crabs at the party. It's crabbing season. Number two. Mm, I'm gonna guess five in this one. Five? Five. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say 10. You? I'm gonna say I don't seven. Know. I don't feel them. I felt them in that last one. Oh. This five. one was I'm deeper. This five. one was almost 13 feet. There's one, two, one, three, four, two, five. Three, four, five, six. Dang there's it! One, there's a little one in the bottom. Watch your fingers. Big old female. That's a good there's size. Not nearly as much bait in this particular one. I wonder if they're getting out though. This one's kind of all bent up. Yeah. All right. How many y'all think? Seven. I said seven last time. This one, I'm gonna say. Gotta make a choice pretty quick. Six. Coming up on your right side. Six. I say uh -huh. ten. We got six last time. There's no way we're gonna have four sixes in a row. Do you feel them? I don't know. See, I feel them. I could tell when they're in there. It's a skill. This is trap number three, our secret spot in Palatka. <laughs> it's not so secret when you tell everybody. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a huge crab right there. It's got a, woo! Oh, that's good. See, so you know what that is? So the big males will grab her and she's getting ready to uh, peel or shed her skin. And what he's doing is holding on to her, so as soon as she sheds her skin, then he'll mate with her. And if I was to take that male crab and leave it in this trap, it would be full of females that are just, for whatever reason, they get attracted to those males uh, for protection and mating. Look at that big claw, though. It's, that thing's he's huge. That, I bet that thing's eight inches across his back. Wait, One, two, question, three, how many? four, five, six, seven, six? seven. Who picked I seven? I got it. I said seven too, didn't I? No. You don't even have it on film. You didn't guess. 
the go to school <laughs> the best clips come when you don't know what's happening are we guessing on this one yeah. i'm gonna guess i'm guessing five four you always have to one down me like, you always have you to one up me i'm going six ah! uh-oh we have four five Bad and captain. six everybody <laughs> it's okay i still got it Crabby Crystal on the uh, on the crab. She's always crabby. Palaka's deadliest catch. Another Mondo. One, two, One, two three, three, four, four. five. Look at him. One again. Bianca literally called it two times in a row. Whatever. She should play the lottery. Well, what I'm going to need you to do is count those numbers higher next go round, B. <laughs> Because we're trying to go, we're trying to get ten a trap. Look, that's another huge mondo. I know. Mondo crab. He's probably he's easily eight inches across his back. That big one right there. Whew, is that that one's even bigger than that one? We like to live dangerously, y'all. So we just dump <laughs> them in the boat first. With our bare feet. Yeah. Bianca's the only one with her safety shoes on. I got my oh, South Florida steel toes crab. on. Oh, he's trying to get me. But look at that big one right there. That thing is Mondo. And then there's another big one right there. I, I'm gonna measure those in a second, but I bet they're crabs so I bet they're at least eight inches from tip to tip. We got twenty inches. So, so far. We'll probably save the little ones for bait. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gonna use them for bait. What? Like, do you think like the weird power plant runoff makes like for gigundo crabs. Like Simpsons crabs? <laughs> yeah, like that night they glow in the dark. I think that this area of Florida has an amazing blue crab fishery and we're just blessed to live here. What's y'all's guesses for the next trap? You What'd you, we need your she guess first. Eight. She said eight. I'm gonna go seven. Why wouldn't you go nine? It just blocks her out. Ten. Got to teach her about gambling. Let's see. I can definitely tell when they're in there. Oh, see? One, two, three. Three little ones. Maybe we should go put it on the other end of our string like where that it was way. better. Because that first pot was the best. Yeah, let's do that. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm asking you. I'm ready. All right. I got I'm the, the one, phone ready. I'm the one that's about to pick up the crabs. Can I put them in a small live well? No. True Florida man right here. Yeah, right. I'm about to get killed. All for the thumbnail. Time. Here. <laughs> I'm just frustrated because I had them. I'm holding them. I get it. And we took a phone call. Well, Harold <laughs> needed to know five pounds or ten pounds of potato salad. Harold. <laughs> You're set it on the corner <laughs> behind you. All right. All right. Let me see the measure. So, let's see. I almost trying to take a thumbnail got <laughs> killed. So that's right on the 20. So that's right on the 27 and to 19 and a half. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight and a half on that one. That one's right at eight. So that crab's eight and a half, y'all. That's a monster. And eight. We only were running five traps, so it's not like we got to pick out of hundreds of traps. Rusties too. Those will eat good. But look at the deck of this boat right now. <laughs> we uh, like to live dangerously and we're gonna put them in the live well because we're gonna go and try to catch some fish. So, B, how many we got in here? 30. 30 for your birthday party? Yeah, all for your party. Look at them all. Babe? Yeah, sorry. Look at these things. Angry crabs. All right, you can help me out, B. All right, y'all. Oh, I've got a bucket of blue crabs. This was all ice. Ice them down so they go to sleep. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it feels good though. It's so oh hot God, out here. So hot. Look oh, at that. Big. And when you ice them down, see they're all still alive. They're just really sleepy. They get cold. And look at these freaks. <laughs> Both over eight inches. That's what he said. Big dogs. You don't like my joke? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you how we clean crabs down here in Florida. Now, I know wherever you're from, you probably do it different, and you're going to let me know. But for the most part, everybody I know who's actually from Florida and not a transplant, this is how we do it. So, no offense, transplants. Most of y'all are cool. Um, but... That's not a bad day right there. No. 48 hour soak. Um, we have no regulations in Florida. There's no minimum or maximum sizes. Uh, we can keep males and females. Um, and this is for Bianca's birthday party, which is tomorrow. Water slide. So I've messed up and poured all these things out for YouTube. Now they're starting to wake up it's because they, it's hot really hot but i gotta work quickly here i'm gonna show you how we do it this is an absolute monster where's my fillet knife he's about to pinch you hold on <laughs> he was about to get you oh yeah he's like i'm awake now he's ready to he's ready to pinch so it is a race against time before these bad boys wake up mm -hmm. pull that apron off like so, and then you got your gut bucket right here, and put your hands underneath, like, ow. Oh, he's trying to, <clears throat> see, this, I did all this stuff for uh, you guys. I'm nervous. Just like that. Ooh. Ooh. And then you pop him off like that. You pull his face <laughs> basically off like that. <laughs> then the dead man come off like so they come off real easy just pull them off like that and then you've got a crab just like that what we do we don't eat the mustard down here so take you a good uh high powered garden hose best way to do it just zap Bring that stuff out. right out of there and then we steam them whole just like this it's party day it's pop i almost grabbed the crab because I thought it was a pot holder <laughs> and I was gonna take I was like oh Not I'm gonna mix attention. I'm gonna mix like 50% Old Bay uh -huh. and 50% J.O.'s because that J.O.'s is like real salty it's and my favorite though it's good but when you do the crabs the way we do them with the backs off yeah yeah it can get too salty too quick look at all those things plus it'll probably just make all the crab people even matter that I mix the two Ooh. and that's, How dare you? <laughs> that's usually like <laughs> the crab police are going to be after me again. So, 50% JOs. I think it's the number two, whatever the main JOs is, and 50% Old Bay. Tastes good. <laughs> We've got uh, some apple cider vinegar and water and a water. Cooler full of crabs. And I'm going to start. 
going in, layering them, layering and sprinkling. Delish. So, and the party's not <clears throat> till noon. Well, noon, but I'm gonna cook them early because just one less thing I gotta do. And I actually kind of like them once they cool down a little bit when I eat them. I don't like to eat them super hot. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know how you guys I actually like them after they've been in the fridge for a couple hours and eating them like that But me too. That's not what we're gonna do today ah. Another layer More seasoning This is not as much fun as when they're still alive. No, that makes for <laughs> much better content putting them in there alive, which we had multiple problems with these things waking up after being in ice and trying to get them cleaned <clears throat> and filming at the same time, it was a hassle. It was very stressful. So, just like so, a couple mo. Are you gonna put these in by themselves because they're so big? I was just gonna put those ones right on top. Oh. So, when I pull the lid off, everybody sees the big ones. Oh, oh gotcha. They all fit, huh? Perfect. Perfect. I caught the perfect amount of crabs. Mm -hmm. Look how big this thing is. It's ridiculous. It fits, like just for reference. Those two are literally just one layer in the pot. Perfect. And I don't know, eight to 10 minutes with them cleaned like this, I think is how long I'm gonna steam them. Um. Lid back on. See you at the party. Yeah, we'll see you at the party because you guys don't want to see anything else right now. No. Just the party. Crystal's going to go down the slide. It's going to be awesome. No, you're going to go down the slide. Uh oh, I, I said it <laughs> first. <laughs> Marlon's going to go down the slide. These little thingies, they use them for this. Yeah, he used them for the claws. Yeah, they're awesome. They're, claws. they're pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. They work great. Yeah, you should get some, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got to film some of it before all the crabs are gone. I already did. They said oh, how you much did? they love the toad. Yes. Really? I said, do say that again so that I can. The toadfish? Yeah, the little, the little scissor thingies. Yeah, yeah. The they work great. We, we got a, uh, a discount code if you want them. <laughs> yeah. Fletcher was, he said he wanted to show up being it. <laughs> got watermelon. Potato salad, deviled eggs, some pulled pork, and buffalo dip. I'm gonna turn the camera off and eat. <laughs> so the best thing is you pull the claw off, right? And you got a little bit of meat right there. But what I like using these the most for is that claw meat. So I'll come down and break the claw off. <clears throat> then I'll break that little piece off and I'll take these things and I'll I'll get it right in here and just, just crack it just enough right and then you can you pull that off and then you bust that little piece and you get your little meat lollipop <laughs> dip it in the butter mm -hmm. you ready I'm so ready. okay do it that right, your turn is why I love the toad fish your turn. I'm getting my own. You do that leg with oh, me. Okay, all right. We're going same time. <laughs> you bust it off. Like that. And then you eat that little piece right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that part you don't need the toad fit for. No. Then okay. you can eat that bit there. Then uh, get down to this piece. You there? I'm there. So then you take your our toad fish. Toad, our toad fish uh -uh. crab claw crackers. <laughs> And just just a little squeeze right there until it cracks. There you go. I think you got it. Then kind of wiggle it out. Wiggle Pull. it. Oh. Just a little bit. Oh, you, <laughs> you messed up. It's Don't your wait. first one, though. It's your first one. So. Okay, I'll do better next time. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll use my toadfish to get the joint. Exactly. And we'll do it from the other yeah. side, right? And you got a little fork thing too. All right. So you can you can work on that. So even if it is your first crab, toadfish comes through. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> they sure do. And how is it? Couldn't it be easier to eat crab? <laughs> Perfect. He wants more animal crackers. Why don't you ask your daddy? 
That's you. Mm -hmm. I'm eating the smoked fish dip. <laughs> That's a different video. We're going to do this other layer. Are you going to do it one more time? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, we're going to dip it. Yeah. Take that piece. There you go. Then break that now. piece off. Yep. Okay. Then, did you break that piece off on the last one? No, you skipped see, that stuff. I did. Oh, so you, you see? To get that piece off. He's not always a professional. I mean, I'm not a professional <laughs> hardly ever. <laughs> Just kind of like, there yeah, you go, I'll boom. Do that. Easy peasy. Now, now do the cracky piece. Okay. Plus, wiggle, oh. wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, oh yeah. We did it. Dip. Beautiful. Perfect. So, so now you gotta get you some. Yep. Us with our toadfish. You know, it's kind of funny because the tablecloth, I did not pick this color on purpose, but it matches the toadfish. I'd like to point out that I have yet to get anything on my new shirt either. <laughs> yeah, and that is a good one too. I think I got past the over under on that. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. What's that? Just tie the shirt? What's uh, that? Oh, I did. That one. It's in the beginning, in the of, the beginning of this video. Okay. Yep, here's the just That's tile it guy himself. Brevard <laughs> County. Brevard, yeah. If you need some tile, that's the man. No job too big or too small. All right. Well. That's it. Is this the end of the so, video? I guess this is the end of the video. It's going to have to be. I would. We uh, got a party. Yeah, I need to entertain the guests. <laughs> And thank you guys. Wait, you guys do the pinata. Yeah. Well, we're not. We might do that on video. We might not. <laughs> I was gonna fill it with fiddler crabs, but um. No. <laughs> thank you guys for liking, watching, subscribing. Uh, you've been great. We'll see you on the next one. You see it, folks. I just pulled up to the trap house, but it's not the trap house you're thinking of. We are in my buddy harold's crab lab that's his boat that's a sweet boat we was just talking about that got all this crab wire and everything like that and uh the man himself the myth the legend but this table where he bends them all up and he's super meticulous has everything all set up and i am picking up five new traps it's summertime the blue crabbing is in full swing I've always had five. I'm getting five for crystal, really, because uh, you can have five each. But uh, y'all check these things out over here, man. These are some of the nicest traps you will find anywhere. He builds them mostly for wreck guys and uh, little things like putting the rebar on the inside and painting it so it doesn't scratch up your boat deck uh, really makes a difference. But we'll see you guys out on the river uh, we're going out there for Memorial Day weekend, and we're going to catch some crabs. See you out there. What's up, guys? This video is brought to you by Hemingway e-bikes. This thing is a game changer. I am completely disappointed we didn't have them when we were kids, but better yet, I got one when I'm 40. <laughs> They sent me this bike to try out and I haven't had a full chance yet, but I'm gonna rig it out for hunting and fishing. I've also been using it around the neighborhood, running up to the store uh, like a little kid again, out riding around and fishing ponds and stuff in the neighborhood. But let's go over it. This is a fat tire e-bike. Um, the fat tires mean that I can ride it in soft sugary sand. I've had it on the beach. Uh, you can pedal assist or you can just throttle it, either or. Um, but it maxes out at 23 miles an hour. This thing is fast, guys. You've got a storage rack. I'm probably gonna put a basket here and some rod holders. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a basket on the front. It also has headlights um, and I'm super excited to get this thing out on some public land and do some hunting with it. Uh, you can slip around the woods super, super quiet and fast and scent free. And I would like you guys 
to check them out. It's a very affordable e-bike. I think it's about $1,600. And I have a discount code in the description. So you guys check out Hemiway Bikes. This is the Cruiser model. What's up guys, Harold here. Today I'm gonna walk you through the process of building a crab trap, show you all the parts and pieces, the anatomy so to speak, show you my little setup. This is what we call Wishard wire. It's just a little mom and pop operation out of my garage here. But we uh, pump out some crab traps here. Start with, we only use the highest quality Riverdale wire made in America. It's hot dip galvanized, vinyl coated. Got multiple colors. Got a lot of stuff already pre-bent so we can make orders happen faster. Got the rope and the bungee line and all the different colors here. Down below, I have all my buoys. Most of them are already, uh, have the letter R on them for the recreational traps. As of March this year for recreational blue crabbers, you have to have this bycatch reduction device on there that limits the Diamondback Terrapin turtle from entering. So what I've done is I've reduced the size of the, the funnel here and uh, Ian's traps will all be legal and all my customers they'll be legal move over here got just the old rope and buoy and I put a handle on top of mine so you can grab it in the water easier when it's sticking up what's up guys I am out here checking in to this cool little cabin on the St. John's River and Bianca's here, Crystal's here, Bianca's friend Lanila. We've got Mullet and Marlin. crab traps, and we've got fishing rods, coolers, we've got the ring nets, and I don't know what we're gonna show you yet, but it's gonna be something cool. There's guaranteed gonna be some crabs, maybe some catfish, uh, maybe who knows what else we get into. <laughs> But, you guys, check this place out. It's beautiful. Old oaks, Spanish moss, they have RV lots, and uh, we got this little two bedroom unit. We've got a fire pit, some ponds, we got a grill. Oh, we got the cast nets with us because we're gonna need some bait. There was an owl over there just a second ago we'll see if we can get some footage of him before we leave but oh my God. check it out guys <laughs> everything you need in this little cabin big comfy couch one bedroom me and crystal's room and we got a room for the kids I'm super super excited for this weekend uh, Y'all stand by. We're gonna get into something good. All right, <laughs> hold on. Crystal has just come with a development. This one is special for my friends in Maryland, <laughs> Captain Luke, Captain CJ. They are at Target right now. Uh, they probably already know about Old it. Like Bay. it's probably already a thing. Gold, uh, limited edition. I don't know. I only bought one bag. But if they're good, I'm gonna buy more. CJ did send us these little puffs that were Old Bay that were really super good, like like a cheese puff, but with Old Bay. But I'm excited to eat those on the boat tomorrow. All right, so we're putting 10 traps down. I'm putting five of these new ones that Harold just made me. And I'm putting five of my old yellow ones. Five for Crystal, five for me. We're gonna see what they do. How deep is it here, babe? 15 and a half. We love you, Harold. <laughs> what did you say? I said, we love you, Harold. Make us some pink crab traps. Yeah. It is an absolutely beautiful morning. We are in Wallaca, Florida. Beautiful St. John's River. I really love it out here. There's just something so peaceful and just old Florida about this place. We got 
about one, two, three, four, five, six. Who called six? You. You. <laughs> big crabs too. Look how big that one That's is. That's a good one. Our, our auxiliary cameraman over there <laughs> trying to catch a bass. <laughs> Feel him in there. You know, I think he's lying when he says that. He says that all the time. I can feel him. Oh, 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 oh. yes, sir. <laughs> There's like all right, 12 in that one. one. Look at them all. Shoot. Well, I, don't let him get out. That's a hot pot right there. How yeah, many? You gotta count. We're gonna count them. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, just in the top. 16, 17, crabs. 18, 19, 20, <coughs> 21 crabs in one pot, y'all. What's the name of your spot? We are Betcha Bass Bait Shack. Betcha Bass Bait Shack. Bass you bait can buy shack. worms and key lime pie key in the same pie. place. <laughs> Look at that. And whipped cream. Dockside service. This is great. So funny. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let so the real tester test it. Oh, wait, for test you it. too? Yeah. Let oh, the real, let the oh, real tester okay. test it. Here, Brec oh, wow. Breakfast the champions. I got a fish I got a as well we're going to carry. Oh, you got to pay him. I got some smoke fish dip in the cooler, I think. Or is that in the... Yeah, I'll, t I'll sell dip or just... Well... So 13 all together. That's really good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? Well, don't eat it all. Good, huh? This is the famous Blacka sandbar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. Why? What are you afraid of? Alligators! Yeah. You'll just lose a foot and then we'll call you Nubby. So we got 51 crabs. They've been in the cooler all day. We've been out at the sandbar. But uh, it's almost 4 o'clock. We're gonna take it back, cook some crabs. Harold and his family came out. Wes is here that you saw. And uh, we're gonna steam up some crabs and eat them. Happy Memorial Day, y'all. We back at camp. Right here, we got Harold, and we got a cooler full of crabs. One of them right there, he looks like he's going to try to kill me. The rest of them look pretty sleepy from the ice. Wes just pulling up. We're going to get these things cleaned up and the steamer pot going. Filming? Oh, let me back up. <laughs> We're going to steam these crabs. Show them the steaming pot. Now show them yourself. Turn it around. New cameraman. My new cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Come try the outdoors. Yeah. Come try the outdoors. <laughs> That's right. On YouTube. On yeah, YouTube. on YouTube. That's right, dude. My man. Uh huh. So look here. We got. Mm. We did 50% Old Bay and 50% Jo Number Two, just because it's salty. We cut it. And we just like this. We've got our pot steaming oh, over yeah. here, and uh, I've got my oven mitt. That's not right here. And we're gonna start and layer our crabs in. Come on over here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it was uh Captain CJ was talking about this the other day. Oh no, I got foggy. You put your little smaller ones on the bottom. Um, because they're like your sacrificial deals. Cause that it's gonna boil up in the bottom there. Uh-huh. And then put your better crabs on the top. So they get steamed real nice, you know? I gotta get me a better steaming basket for this big pot. Uh-oh, got all foggy. Gotta wait the lens. And then we got our seasoning blend. Once we got a layer in, we go in, just season them all up. Make sure you hit every one. And then go in with more crabs. 
Boom. All right, let's see what they look like. They ain't use, been your, use your oven mitt. Hasn't been quite 15 minutes. This is high tech equipment. Um, mm -hmm. They look pretty done to me. Mm, no. I don't know. That one looks all right. You think them bigger ones might get a minute longer? We'll let them go a minute longer, but if they're sticky, it's your fault. You mean, no. Like where the meat sticks. Yeah, yeah. I think they're done. All right, yeah. let's pull them in. Oh, that one's mine. Not gonna argue with the professional. Crab cam. Crab cam. Pull it just like that. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. Get them all. Yeah. Babe, will delicious. you twist that knob to turn off the propane, nope, please? No, but here I can. Oh, you're, I forgot you're scared, <laughs> scared. scared of propane. Oh, he's doing a great job. He's calling the crab cam. Hey, crabs. He's doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> My new cinematographer. Might want to go to the next uh Say, Ian, right. pool. Tug trash outdoors. Yeah. Tug trash outdoors. We've been out here Memorial Day weekend, um, crabbing and fishing and there's probably gonna be one or two videos that come out from this weekend but first off i would like to say uh happy memorial day to everybody and of course we're remembering the reason for this day and the men and women that died so that we can have these freedoms and we can eat these crabs and uh do all these amazing things so that's not lost on us but I want to thank all of you for watching, subscribing. I bumped into a bunch of people today at the sandbar and springs and things and anyone that said hello. Um, thank you guys. We're going to dig in. We've got these delicious crabs. Uh, I think, what did we say? 51 total. 51 total. Um, the river provides. Mm -hmm. It's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. We still, got not over. we still got crabs. Pilot claws. Still some crabs. You still have that crab in your sunglasses. Oh, you can't get out. For saving it. For saving it. That's a piece of jumbo <laughs> lump. You want to squeeze the lime? Oh. I'm just getting started on uh, the claw pile. Yeah. Look, and here's a pro tip. This is something we've developed. If you put a little squeeze of lime juice in your butter, it'll change your life. Game changer. Hit up the key lime, key lime king. Key lime yeah. king. We need to get some more key limes from that but guy. He uh, he actually gave, has two key lime plants for me. I What's think up, you dude? need to introduce him as your number one fan. I don't think people know. This is my number one fan. He's my new videographer too. Oh, go back over there. <laughs> Look, guys. Say hey to the people. This is my num hey. number one fan. Hi. Also, new part time videographer and uh, <laughs> talent. <laughs> I think it's perfect. <laughs> You've got some moves. Uh oh. Yeah, dude. Ooh, go, 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 Hudson. Go, Hudson. Go, Hudson. Reminds me of, like Elvis. Would you like s'more? Do you even know me? No. You know I don't like s'mores. I know, you're so weird. I'll have to take a no, bite. No, you don't like s'mores. All right. Where's the chocolate? I like the chocolates the best part. You like them, huh? He's got it all over there. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> you made me do this, and then you didn't even film it. <laughs> mm, all right. Is that good? It's in the beard. Of course it is. Good. Nom, nom, yeah. nom. See you in the next one. What's up guys? I'm back off the tug and you already know I'm back on it. Look at this. We got crabs and a piro. And I'm out here at one of my favorite spots to fish. But we're doing something that I've never done before. We're crabbing with just chicken on a string. Uh, we're actually done right now. 
and we killed it. It was amazing. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's the cheapest way you can go catch crabs. All you need is a simple net. We got three different kinds here. If you fish, you got a net in your garage. We got some pipes, some string, and about five bucks worth of chicken. But I've hit a year mark on my channel and I'm gonna do a little giveaway for you guys. So what I want you to do on this video is comment how many crabs you think we got. And I'm gonna show you real quick what we got here. And uh, at the end of the video, whoever comments the number of crabs first in sequential order, I'm gonna send them a crab trap from Wishard Wire, um, a shirt and a bunch of merch and stuff. And, uh, but I'm just gonna quit talking. I feel like I'm rambling. <laughs> Watch this, you guys. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> How many do you think I got in there? You gotta guess. So we have our mothership, which is my Piro. Got all our stuff in it, um, helps out. We got away from the crowds a little bit right there. But I just had this PVC lying around, didn't cost me a dime. Um, I drilled a little hole up top and I cut the ends on an angle. And then I'm just putting them in the Find some good bottom. This one's longer, I can put it out a little farther. Work it back and forth. Right here. And then we'll probably start with four lines. I don't know, maybe five. Uh, and we've got some chicken legs. We paid $5.41 at Aldi. Thank you, Aldi. I had string, right? Um, <clears throat> but I did buy some yellow string because I wanted you guys to be able to see the string in the video and I was worried the black wouldn't show up. Uh, but that was six bucks. Um, like I said, I had the PVC and I already had these nets. Um, I'm sure you've got some sort of landing net at your house but just going on how economical this type of crabbing is. What I'm tying is just a uni knot, if you're familiar with uni knots. And then I'm gonna take that little chunk right there and cinch it down tight on my chicken. So the like, crabs can't get that off? No, theoretically. <laughs> uh, Let's hope. I'll be honest, I haven't done this type of crab and I've watched these guys do it thousands and thousands of times as this is one of my favorite places to fish. But uh, I haven't done it. And I've always, every single time I've come by, I've always been like, man, I wanna go do that. There's so, a lot of people out here doing it. Oh, uh, and this is like a slow day. I've seen them, I mean, down that way, all the way around to the other end of the lake. So, we'll throw our chicken out. That's as far as you have to go? No, I don't think you need it to go far at all. Oh. And then we're going to tie. Where's my hole? Ooh, there's a hole there. right there. I just stepped in. <laughs> yeah. Crystal is scared I'm to death. I'm terrified right now. Because there are a couple of alligators in a here. A couple. Last time I checked, they said there was three. So it's not like that scary. What do you mean they said there was three? Yeah, there was a count. When did they do that? They do know. that? Yeah, but there's art. Babe, there's literally already a blue crab on this. Watch this. Lies. I swear, I, I can get the net? feel them. Yeah, maybe get it. <laughs> okay. I, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab the net. The Crab Catcher 1000. I mean, hurry up. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> on there, he's running with <laughs> I mean, y'all, you see this? Pulling tight. It's like 30 seconds. 30 seconds, not even. 
Oh, he's on there, babe. He's on there. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just he just swam away. Did he? Yeah, no, you okay. don't want to stick the net down in oh, the water. You scared him. Sorry. Okay. Hold on. He's got it again. It's he's got fault. it again. He's got it again. Look at him. Look at him taking line. Look That's at him taking crazy. line. Real slow. All right, go. 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 Did I get him? You, I got him! <laughs> you see it, folks. You see it. How fast was that? And we only, we literally got one line in and got a big old crab. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I'm putting him in the basket. High five. It's Oops, working. Yeah. All right, we got to turn the camera off and get this going. Yeah. But like you saw it, he was literally running with the chicken. This is amazing. <laughs> Are we just going to like fill the basket? Is that the goal? Yes. The goal is to fill that basket to the top. And what, how, what are we going to do? We're going to eat them. How? With our hands. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. Camera lady, I'm moving. Here, I got, put the camera on me. I got crab cam on. <laughs> so, we can't even get the lines out. We only have four. Four, right and there's now. a crab pulling on every pipe right now. <laughs> I'm amazing. gonna get one. I'm gonna put, I got the crab cam on with the crab catcher 1000. Look at that one's pulling hard over there. That must be a big one. I mean, he's literally trying to pull the pipe over. Maybe we should just do the this last one. I feel like I could just troll chicken legs here. Troll chicken legs? Yeah. Like they... Crab cam! I mean, they're getting onto there so fast. I mean, it's literally 30 seconds and you got another crab. That's a littler one, but... Well, we can, we can always... He's only got one claw. Oh, babe, I got a two for one. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to go dump them in the bucket. We got our shrimp basket weighted down so the crabs stay alive. All right, we've got six lines out right now, and I'm pretty sure there's a crab on every single one. Uh, I'm going to go and see what we got here. Clip the GoPro on the net. Go, go like this. Get our net ready. Now, I hope this worked. I specifically <laughs> bought yellow line just for you guys. But you see that? Can you? I hope. I really hope you can see he is pulling on that yellow line. No tension. He's pulling on the pipe. Let's see if we can get him. One-handed. Oh, it feels like a big one. Feels like a big one. Oh, we got a jumbo, jumbo crab. Okay. I found something really cool. Check it out. It's a jellyfish. That thing will mess you up. Look at how pretty it is. Look at this, it's got a little chicken holder right here. <laughs> Put your chicken in. I'm trying to film the jelly. Jellyfish are immortal, did you know that? There's literally a crab on every single string we have. This is insane. Oh, another double crab. Did you get on camera? Yeah. Gotta have it on camera, it didn't happen. Oh, another double crab! Get on camera? Yeah. Gotta have it on camera, it didn't happen. I got it on camera, it happened. Alright, so we're down to one GoPro. The one GoPro isn't coming on. We've got six out, which honestly, it's going backwards. It's going backwards is more than we can handle right now. We're literally pretty much just shrimping these three. Look at him. He's running. He's dangling himself around them. He's running. We gotta be quiet. Why? They can, Run. Hear. They can hear us. I don't think they can. They can hear us. Can. Get that crab, babe. Okay. Crystal has always been really good at catching crabs. She said back in the day, they called her the crab queen. Oh, 
<laughs> you know, he's a little guy. Yeah. But look how fast they're eating the chicken. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. All right. I'm going to go. catch crabs. I know, and I'm also trying to make a YouTube video. <laughs> if you forgot the reason we're here. It's, it's for the crabs too. This is, I can't believe that I've been coming to this place for 15 years and I haven't done this. It's amazing. The sun is coming up and the crabbing has definitely slowed down. We got about three quarters of a basket right now. I don't even think it's nine o'clock in the morning, if that. Crystal's doing the crab dance. <laughs> folks headed out fishing there I think we're we're close to what we need for a family meal how many will we have in that basket Harold's family is family we're trying to leave we're trying to leave let's see if I can get this one Oh, oh, you almost lost that it. That was a twofer. Oh, nice. A twofer. <laughs> On the way out, too. And we're trying to leave. Trying to <laughs> we can't stop. I want to show you guys. Those were Mondas, too. Nice. Um, so just real quick, this is the setup here. It's literally one of my surf spikes. I made a couple. And then a piece of just regular yellow twine. And... A piece of chicken anybody can do this man anyone that has some PVC pipe some string and enough money to buy some chicken legs oh and a net a landing net any net will work that you got uh, come out here go to a bayou near you a marsh an estuary someplace where it's shallow and uh, go catch you some blue crabs I know that Bianca is gonna be jealous she didn't wake up this morning because <laughs> she, she would have loved this look at this crab not only does he have a regrowth coming in, but his other claw oh, yeah. has been chopped off. I'm trying to get him in the sun. And he's still living. And he's still living. He's adapted to losing the points of his claw. And he's got a regrowth. I'm going to let him go. Do it. Because he has had a rough life and he's still living. So he's going to go over here go ahead boss live your best life all right head to home crab barge <laughs> now i do want to talk about something real quick when we were walking in we noticed there was a ton of trash up on the shore here and that's a really really just junky thing man so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it better than we found it and pick up some of this trash over here. If you guys come out, don't do this, man. Don't do this. That's tr trashy. You're a horrible individual. Hello. How you guys do? Yeah. Whole basket. Whole basket. Really? Yeah. Um, They're all mixed hot out and we're getting ready to clean those crabs up because Harold and his family are going to come over and help us eat them tonight but first I want to take a second and show you who is sponsoring this video Aloha Pest and Lawn reached out to me I filmed so much in my yard cleaning fish and things like that and they said hey man we noticed your yard isn't up to snuff and uh, <laughs> they came out got me fixed up my grass is super green everything's happy and uh you guys check them out they're in saint augustine florida and i'll have their number and uh contact in the description all right y'all so the big question is how many crabs do i have in this cooler wouldn't you like to know i will announce the winner of the contest in the next week's video this video is going to come out on sunday the sunday after is where i'll announce the winner um and like i said before the contest is the first person to guess the correct amount of crabs that we caught today so 
If you're the second person, but you got the same number, you don't win. First person. We're set up. We got our little uh, whatever. Oh. You know, I'm betting there's probably four or 500 crabs in there. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna get to getting, it's hot. I'm already sweating. It's raining. <laughs> 438, 439. <laughs> if you went crabbing this morning and you live in Florida, the best thing to get when you get home and hungry is a pub sub. And if you're really a Florida man, Crystal's I'm waiting to eat. looking pretty for the camera, <laughs> you get the chicken tender. So, Crystal got me this sub. I don't know why she didn't no, get two. I didn't. I'm, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It's one for us to share. <laughs> but, pub I, sub. I did buffalo chicken. Drop, drop me a comment if pub subs are the best subs in the world. So, we got our crabs. We got our steaming pot. Ooh, that's hot. That's 50% apple cider vinegar and 50% water. Somebody said that in my last video. They're like, you ought to put vinegar in there. I'm like, I do, man. But we got our cleaned up crabs. <clears throat> We're gonna start uh, layering those things into there. Just like we always do. And uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to fit all these crabs in uh, this one steaming pot. Look at all those crabs. Don't be trying to count now. Y'all can't count all them crabs. Are you gonna eat crabs? How, how many do you think's in there? Uh, 40. 40? 40. Well, Ooh. we'll let you know. That's a good guess. I counted them this afternoon. Probably 80. Probably 80? You just yeah. doubled your number, dude. Probably 80. Well, Crystal wants me to film her, but I'm trying to eat crabs. Clear out of the shell. Marlin like, is trying to get a freebie. That ain't happening. What are you eating? Chicken wings. Chicken wings. We got all these crabs right here. Got some of that lump over here. Yeah. I'll do one for the camera. I'll do one for the camera. All right, do the other side. Okay, ready? How do I do yeah. this, Ian? Out of the body. Yeah. Oh, no. Everybody, oh, no. See, you're filming now. I messed up. Everybody does it a little different. That's not how I do it. Show me, That's Ian. Not how I do it. <laughs> Oh. Well, we gotta turn it around. <laughs> the best thing in the world is public chocolate Publix chocolate chip cookies. My favorite dessert. Will <laughs> dogs. You don't have to get all in my face. <laughs> Push the button. Quit being goofy. Oh, oh. we had a breaker. <laughs> um what I'm doing right now is picking crab claw meat. When we eat crab claw, or when we eat blue crabs, many times, Crystal doesn't eat a whole lot of the claws, and sometimes I will put my claws in a pile with hers, um, and we'll make something with it the next day. And that's really like what I wanted to do for you guys. I've steamed crabs a bunch for you, but I'm using my toadfish um, crab cleaning set to pick this meat out. And I'm gonna go over one just real quick with you guys. I'm gonna make some uh, crab dip. I've never really made that, but uh, it, I've had it. I know it tastes good. I'm gonna see if I can make it taste good. But, so what I did there was break the two pieces apart. Then I've got the claw and I take those uh, claw crackers from Toadfish, amazing. I, I've never found a better cracker break off that little knuckly piece right there and then come right down at the base where the where the pincher is and just just enough to where it feels like it cracks and then you wiggle it and pull wiggle and pull wiggle and pull and no meat in there and then you got all that meat on there if you were just eating them this would be your little lollipop but since I'm going to make dip I'm just pulling the meat off in a little pile over here. Um, 
and that'll be perfect just to make a little dip for tonight. And we have some shrimp to eat, but that's gonna be another video. All right, I am gonna make smoked Gouda crab dip. I've never made this before because I literally just made it up out of what was inside of our refrigerator. Um, I've got some whipped cream cheese. We'll start out with that. It's maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to match the amount of crab I have there. Call that a half a cup there. Um, and then some sour cream, probably an equal amount, maybe a little bit less. We'll just see how it's mixing up there. Um, then we'll do that. Then we'll put a little bit of mayo. You know it's gotta be Duke's. Mm -hmm. Better than any mayo in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anyone says. I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of that. Um, and then we have our crab boil mix, which just says Old Bay, but it actually has a little bit of J.O.'s mixed in with it. It's just leftover from last night. Just eyeballing that amount until it looks like it's good. A little bit of paprika. Give it some color. Um, then garlic powder, of course. Garlic powder bad. makes <laughs> everything better. Just a touch of onion powder. Sounds good to me. Like that. A shake of soy sauce. My soy sauce. I wanted to put Worcestershire sauce, but we're out, and uh, it just felt good. Hmm. And then I'm gonna do, I've got this fresh, <laughs> fresh grated uh, smoked Gouda, and I'm gonna put most of it in there, but leave a little bit for topping. Yeah. And I'm just gonna mix all this together, hmm. see what, what I get. What about Parmesan cheese? Or no? Parmesan would be good, but I think I think we're good with this amount of ingredients. It will be Gouda. <laughs> so, mix that all up. And then I'm gonna fold this crab meat in there. Yeah. And when I do that, I kinda wanna just like, just real lightly fold it all in here so I don't break it up real bad. It's like the clumpy claw meat, right? Yeah. And keep some of those lumps in there. There we go. At first, for a second there, I was feeling like maybe I didn't have enough ingredients and I was messing up on camera. I don't know, I think it looks good. But it's looking pretty amazing right it now. smells really good. I know, I think that it would be good to eat just like that. It probably would be, but I think hot with some so. crackers. Then I've got a little, I think the name for that is maybe a ramekin? Uh, maybe. I don't know, it's Fiesta Wear. Oh, it's Fiesta Wear. Mm -hmm. But I like, <laughs> um, I usually use them for like broiling things. And that's what we're, well, we're gonna do this at 400 degrees mm -hmm. um, in the oven on convection bake. You don't have to use convection bake, I got it. So I'm gonna use it. Uh, so, boom, then we'll take the rest of that smoked Gouda, mm -hmm. put that all on the top, like so. Feeling pretty fancy right now, like yeah. I just made something really amazing. You maybe did. Um, and then I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit more of that Old Bay mixture on there, like so, and popping it in the oven. How long? I'll give it 10 minutes, but basically until it's bubbly. Hmm, okay. Was 10 minutes long enough? Yeah, I did, well, no, I did five and then three. And right now I'm just broiling it, trying to get it bubbly, it, ooey yeah. gooey, browned and delicious, oh, which yeah. is happening right as we speak. I'm so excited. Are we gonna eat it with Tostinos? Um, yeah, we're gonna eat it with Tostinos because we have Tostinos and we don't really have anything else, so. Crackers, we have club crackers. We have club crackers. We still got some smoked fish dip, we could eat that too. And then we've got some shrimp that are just soaking, I boiled them. It's a different video. 
that's a different video though <laughs> and we're not gonna it's not gonna be boiled shrimp it'll be a really really good recipe you guys don't know about yet super secret recipe <clears throat> but uh, I'm trying to do one video a week 11 a.m. on Sundays so I can't just release them quick because I still got a regular job you know mm -hmm. and then I gotta have content to put out while I'm on the tugboat okay it's time here we go the moment of truth dun, dun, dun. it looks so hot I'm super scared of uh, burning myself. Yeah, please don't. But maybe we let that cool down for a minute. Yes. But I think it's gonna be delicious. Agreed. It smells delicious. We are at the table. All right, y'all. I've already been eating the shrimp. <laughs> it's that time of this video. I'm grubbing out on some of these Daytona shrimp. They are delicious. But it's a, a, a different <laughs> video. Um, we had a ton of t a ton of fun crabbing, and I really want to go back and do that again soon. And I would also recommend if you got some kids or something like that, super super fun thing. Something like that, like people are just gonna go <laughs> or, around collecting children. <laughs> I don't know, like a nephew okay, that's or a little, neighbor's kid, okay. or you know. <laughs> something like that Got or a it. grandson okay that sounds better <laughs> take them crabbing because crabbing in that style with a string and a chicken because it's a ton of fun for a kid but oh the shrimp are so good um, hey dogs we're trying to film a video every time every time I the know. camera turns on <laughs> and the dogs are like hey Hey, you want hey. <laughs> but all right so look at this dip. Try the dip looks amazing it does it smells amazing Oh no. Oh, I knew right. that was going to happen, so I had a spoon. <laughs> so, spoon. I'm going to go with a new, new I'm going new chip okay. just for full effect. Don't, don't burn your mouth. I'm not going to burn my mouth. Okay. All right. Crab dip. Oh, that looks so hot. What, why do you doubt me? Okay, do it. <laughs> That's good. Like 10 out of 10, what would you rate it? I would say I put too much salt in it. Because that uh, that Jo's has salt in it, and I made it a little bit salty, I think, but it has really good flavor. Let me try it. I would just use regular Old Bay if I made it again. Oh no! What are you doing? Okay. It smells good. It's good. Yeah, it's definitely good. It's really good. It's rich, is mm -hmm. what it is. Um, like a creamy. Yeah. Mm. That's worth it. For sure. Um, it's not too salty though. No. But I'm hard. I am my biggest food critic. You are. And I will always tell you when I think something is maybe off. I give it like a seven out of ten. Yeah. Well, and that's claw meat too. Imagine it with lump. Mm, that's true. Anyways, guys, it's that time. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, I'm trying to read and respond to every single comment, um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, good luck on the contest. We'll oh, see you on the next one. The next video, right? Next, vi The next video, I will announce the winner. Yeah. So you got to watch that one too. And it might be about shrimping. <laughs>